Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statement and their related solution. Today, we are going to discuss about Azure Logic Apps. So today's problem statement, how to create and run automated workflows in public cloud. And the solution which has been provided by Microsoft Azure is Azure Logic App Workflow, AWS AWS Test Function, and Google has Google Workflow. We are going to discuss about Azure Logic App Workflow in this video. What is a workflow? A workflow is defined as a sequence of tasks that process data, actions, or instructions through a specific path. Let's try to understand with a scenario. So let's you are uh, you are placing a request in an e-commerce system. So after you place a you know order in the e-commerce system in the portal, that means the the order has been placed successfully, and we are expecting we will receive an email of an order. So how does it work? When you place the order, then there is a trigger which will be triggered from the, your e-commerce system backend system, and it will trigger certain task in your workflow. That means one task is to generate a PDF, second task is to encrypt the PDF, and third task is to send an email. So all this task has been triggered by the e-commerce portal when you are placing the order and your backend is saving the data. From there, all this task has been sequentially executed, which is nothing but known as the workflow management flow process. So with this workflow management, you are generating the backend uh, different actions or different uh, data processing or different instruction to execute. And as a, as a result, you are giving a result in an asynchronous mode. That is what a simple definition of workflow. Now, what is Azure Logic App? So Logic App is nothing but a cloud-based workflow management service which integrates your apps, data, services, and systems. It helps you to build highly scalable integration solutions for your enterprise as well as business to business uh, scenarios or cases. It enables you to connect legacy, modern and cutting edge systems across modern, on-premise and hybrid network or hybrid environments. Now let's try to understand how many different types of logic app resource uh, are available. So there are two types. One is logic app consumption resource type. Another is logic app standard resource type. Logic app consumption resource type depends upon it runs in multi-tenant logic apps or also it can be integrated with integration service environment. We are going to discuss about integration service environment in detail. And when we are talking about multi-tenant logic app, that means the, the, the tenant where or the hardware where the logic app is going to be configured can be shared with multiple tenants. That means multiple organization can access that particular hardware. So that is what the simple definition of multi-tenancy. And that's where your logic app is getting configured with your consumption plan. And when you have a standard uh, logic, uh, logic app standard resource type that you are using, it runs in a single tenant Azure logic app environment. That means it is completely isolated to, throughout the world. Now, let's try to understand the networking pattern of the logic app with uh, consumption plan, okay, consumption resource type. So, as we understood the IAC, generally the logic app is a pass service. It sits in Azure public. And when you want to integrate with IAC, that means you want to connect with your services, which is, which is in your virtual network or the services like private link endpoint or on-premise system from a, a logic app workflow of consumption type. In that case, you need to have a IAC in place where in the, in, in the integration service environment, your logic app runtime will be configured. And your logic app, which is sitting in public, which will be integrated with your uh, IAC. And via the IAC, it will be integrated with your private link endpoint or your other private services or your on-premise system. That is how a IAC consumption plan will work. Then next, we'll try to understand the logic app with the standard plan. That means your logic app, although it is sitting in public area, it eventually it sits inside your virtual network. To reach this logic app, you can use private link endpoint to reach this public app. 
and to delegate your out, uh, outbound traffic you can get your uh, you know logic app uh, runtime inside your own logic app subnet and from the subnet via the outbound traffic you can reach your private network as well as on premise system and it is nothing but a isolated system which is completely a single tenant uh, architecture so this is the two uh, you know two different type of logic app uh, virtual network configuration which is available so you can use based on your uses but if you do not need any virtual network anymore then you can simply pass to pass connectivity you can realize in your logic app itself you do not need iac at all now the key terms with logic apps one is workflow trigger and action workflow is nothing but a series of steps that defines task or process and each workflow starts with a single trigger so there will be something known as trigger which will start your workflow and a trigger is always the first step in any workflow like the in, in e-commerce system when you are placing the order that means there will be a trigger which will start triggering okay you can start preparing the pdf like that that is the basic definition of a trigger and an action is each step in the workflow after the trigger is fired and every action runs some operations in the workflow so each action does certain work and how does it work the logic of so whenever a trigger is fired that is that means there are certain condition which is met like you are uh, let's think about a storage account you are placing a storage account inside the storage account you are placing a file or you are deleting a file that means it will you can enable the trigger to you know fire the logic app uh, workflow so once the trigger is fired uh, or also there are certain cases where you can also schedule uh, scheduling capabilities are there so you can initiate your trigger based on time like night 12 pm or night 12 am you can trigger the scheduling capabilities which will fire certain actions and these actions will run the operations and the operation will do the necessary uh, activities that is the basic fundamental this is how your logic app internally works now one more uh, terminology is, is there in logic app is a connector so what is a connector a connector is so is a component that provides an interface to an external service that means let's think about a twitter agent so you want to consume certain uh, twitter post and you want to check the sentiment uh, you know analysis in that case what you can do you can integrate the twitter post with the api with your connector uh, inside your logic app and that will fetch the data from the twitter when there is a post which has been done by someone then you can do the analysis of that particular data by getting the data from the twitter so this is how logic app works to interact uh, to use as connector to interact with outside services so connector is nothing but an interface to interact with the services or external services there are also custom connectors to access services that do not have pre-built connectors so logic app has pre-built connectors but if you want to have your own connectors then you can also implement that and to do that you need to make sure the service or the connector should have the rest or soap api that means the api that you want to that you want to make a call should always support rest or soap format so as you can see here with the service it generates an open api file to describe an api and from the api it uploads it to the azure portal and from the azure portal with the custom connector resource you can connect to the respective services so there are two types of connectors which is available one is pre-built connectors like you know twitter and all which is already available and there are connectors which is which can be customized based on your need based on your api you can integrate it so these are all basic fundamentals of logic apps uh, that i have gathered from the logic app uh, uh, portal uh, of azure if you like to know more about it then uh, please follow the description which has been given in the uh, you know description box of this video if you like it then don't forget to share it and you know uh, like the uh, video and comment it thank you